So while waiting for the owner to come with the uh, oil and the filter from the dealer, uh, I want to see the behavior of the uh, the oil pressure here. And uh, so I went to live data and I put oil and these are the parameters that came which interest us actually. So we're going to start the vehicle and we have one problem by the way, when, when I disconnected the harness, uh, I deleted the code and that <laughs> brought the car to a good condition because remember when when you delete the code you don't you don't have the uh, reduce engine power or the uh, check engine light so I was I was trying to create the the code but unfortunately I couldn't anyways well, right now so this solenoid I, I believe it's always on high pressure unless it's commanded low that's why on high pressure we we didn't have any any command of that line that's the way i'm thinking of it uh, and when 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 there is a demand for a low pressure it will activate it and the solenoid will click and it will probably uh, close some passages or open some other passages that would uh, uh, route the oil somewhere else probably back to the uh, to the pan so I, I don't know the design but that's that's how I think of it so looking at these were and by the way there's an oil pressure here if you want you can look at it, it says 15 psi which is the same as this one 14.5 see when we do full throttle when it goes down it's always idling on high those parameters are okay and not run and here not run okay when it's slow see it and also here it changes one other thing you guys um, reading about the uh, the oil filter uh, for for a minute I thought it would be the opposite that would make a difference uh, now the TSB concern is those uh, uh, wrong uh, filter would open at 15 psi uh, now if this is the case if we're opening at 15 psi not 22 psi I don't think this would cause a low pressure actually the opposite would cause a low pressure let's say um, let's say the car normally opens at 15 and you bring a filter that would open uh, has an internal valve that would open at 20 22 now that time between the 15 and to get between the 15 and 22 now remember that code all it needs is the 1.5 second for it to trigger so i'm pretty sure it's going to have a 1.5 second enough to between 15 and 22 at some point that's that's just me thinking out loud and i wanted to share it with with you guys i don't know i don't know if i'm right or wrong again i'm not a mechanic i'm 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 not good at this stuff so if you are watching the video and you have opinion please uh, feel free to to share it uh, for me for the viewers back to this test uh right here starts right here stuck on this chart will show you a b a b and c all um, circuit codes d and e performance codes d is stuck off and e stuck on uh, so there is a circuit test condition for running the dtc those are a b c and d and e here it says read these codes if you have any of these codes you have to address those codes before uh, moving further engine running for greater than 1.5 seconds engine speed 15 to 25 rpm 2500 of course engine oil pressure control solenoid valve on for greater than 1.5 seconds uh, so it should stay on you see how you see how I think the low the low is the on I think now you see how how, how it stayed was that a 1.5 seconds this one 
I think that's what triggers the code. Let's see if we have a check engine light. No, no, not yet. Oh, look. And the car is shaking. Now we have a low. Look, 11 PSI, 10. And the car is shaking. Look at it. You see it? Look at the hood. 10 PSI. See, even my hand are shaking with the car. All right, going back to this. The engine oil pressure is our less than uh, predefined threshold. We need to know the predefined threshold. Uh, DTCs. So ignition on, service mode, if you have any, any trouble in one of these components, oil level sensor, oil pressure sensor, oil pressure switch, any code, then you have to address that before going further. Uh, no DTCs, so verify condition, low engine oil level, I already checked, the level is good, on the dot, and uh, dirty or contaminated oil, no, it's a new oil. And here, again. That's another indicator if that that uh, if that filter was a factor, uh, then I think it would be mentioned here. Although GM always update their service information, but again, I think I think my thinking was correct, my logic. I just figured to mention it. You know, if you're a GM owner, uh, just be careful when you change your oil. This is because it's something we do every month, every two months, so. I think it's it's worth mentioning that to the uh, viewers, e even if you're if 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 this is unrelated to the issue that we have right now. Uh, now perform the scan tool control pressure cylinder low and high. We already did this and we watched those parameters how it stayed either okay or not run. We did that when we lifted the vehicle. And it says if if you have any of these says malfunctioning then you have to do the circuit test but we don't we had a malfunction only when we had the uh, connector disconnected if the uh, uh, if the uh, specified state engine running right now perform the following steps increase the engine speed slowly to 1800 rpm use a scan tool line graph function may make it easier to identify if the valve changes so we don't have a graph here uh, probably here also no graph no graph um, what should I graph nothing um, uh, verify the scan tool parameter engine oil pressure so change is greater than 34 psi so engine oil pressure 4 we're going to increase actually let's pull this one two three four five six uh, yeah why not and then let's put rpm yeah uh, speed engine speed and then look at this all right, so we're gonna watch engine speed and we're gonna watch the uh, door pressure and see the changes. So slowly increase to, what do we have, 12 right now? 
18 yeah we jumped a lot so the change is greater than 4 psi of course yes if the change is 4 or less replace the uh, engine oil pressure control solenoid they did replace it but this is not our case if the change is greater than operate the vehicle within the condition for running DTC you may also operate the vehicle within the conditions that you observe from the freeze frame data well we lost it verify DTC or not set uh, DTC and circuit testing all okay now we're not gonna do the circuit testing because I already tested it doing the uh, the uh, the okay not run the okay not run here this proves that the circuit is good now in this case if you got to this point uh, there's one more thing that we have to do um, we're gonna have to find this uh, specified uh, uh, pressure for that oil and compare it with what we have uh, it's going down to 10 11 uh, I'm not sure if this is good or not and when, when it went to 10 I felt the shaking and uh, so let's find the specified uh, value there is a a test for the oil pressure but I'm not sure why they're using a gauge and why they're not using these uh, uh, outputs why we're not using this number uh, basically you have to take the pressure sensor put that gauge and uh, at idle speed the oil pressure must be greater than 26 look what we have 11 I mean if that is equivalent to using the gauge and the oil temperature must be 85 or blah 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 remove the and put the sensor uh, I believe there is somebody has a Malibu like this with the same engine 1.5 turbo let's find it and see if he can quickly pull the uh, uh, this uh, uh, screen at idle see what what does it say I knew I'm gonna find a Malibu around I'm not sure what year is this but I made sure it has the 1.5 Where's the oil pressure? Unit speed. Oil oh, pressure right here. Thirty two. That's what the car called. And when we rev it, changes of course. Okay, I'm gonna pause and wait for it until it goes a little bit higher. See if on a normal temperature, because uh, there was something, the temperature was a, a, a factor here. So I think engine has to go up to temperature. So I kept revving the vehicle until it got to almost the temperature where well, today is a cool day it's not a hot day so um, I think this is what it is so let's go back to the there you go oil pressure at idle 30 and in the, in the uh, service information says 26 and up minimum 26 so this makes sense to me um, the other one is 12 11 I saw 10 this is crazy let's go back to the shop because I see the owner of the vehicle just pulled in so the owner that's fine you know uh, owner just came back with uh, the oil filter they gave him a different part number but uh, that PF46R and uh, the oil and we got also a plug because his plug was stuck so I, I was afraid to uh, strip it and we did <laughs> strip it that's why we used the new one uh, it was so tight all right now with the new oil where's the scanner can you do me a favor give me the scanner yeah yeah that one yeah here we go we're ready to start it after changing the oil Okay. 
pressure building up 16 15 that's still no good our known good is 26 and up 30 at idle and it was the same temperature it goes up and then goes under 26 so It's around, uh, around 15. All right, let me let me share with the owner of the vehicle the findings that I found about the uh, the TSB. So the owner of the vehicle just left, and uh, I showed him my findings about that TSB. Uh, I discussed more with him. I asked him about the mechanic that did the job, and he said he did it. Uh, he's one of these uh, people that buy cars, fix them, and sell them, and he does uh, things at his uh, uh, house garage. Uh, nothing wrong with that. You know, I've seen so many talented people doing that. Easier, less headache than a shop or dealing with customers. As long as it pays their bills and, you know, put food on their uh, their kid's table. Um, he said yes, he had to remove that tensioner and he's not sure if, he's 100% sure that he didn't buy a gasket. Uh, he's sure that he used the old one and he's not sure if the old one is good or not or he put it correctly or not so I told him pay attention to that also uh, pay attention to if there's any other places where uh, oil gets to from uh, in like in the when you open the cover see if there is anything and he understood what I mean so that's that and uh, he promised me he's gonna either call me to stop by or make a video for me and send it so we can uh, close this video i'm not going to post this case study unless i hear from him thank you guys for watching please like share subscribe and hit that little notification to be notified about videos like this i really appreciate it Instalamos el empaque nuevo. Ahí está. Anda bien, está instalado. Me disculpen las broches que le pusimos, pero era para no perder el tiempo. El tiempo del motor. Ahí se mira la línea del empaque. Se mira la parte de abajo. Todo bien. Hablamos por la parte de abajo. Vamos a apreciar el empaque, aquí se mira, se mira por completo y parece ser que eso sería el detalle que okay. vamos a empezar a armar 
y verificamos a ver si eso fue el problema.